good morning it's friday the 10th of may and it's going to be 23 degrees so we've decided to have a weekend away our first one of the year we're going down to key haven uh, on the edge of the new forest near milford on sea but uh, we've got a bit of a detour we've got to do to try and get on the m25 because it's shut the road shut in six and a half miles on the A2 because there was a fatal accident there this morning with a motorbike and a load of traffic so we're going to have to pick our way around so I'm going to head down towards Rootham, jump on the uh, M20 and see if we can go towards London then onto the M25. That way otherwise we're going to be sitting in traffic for hours so I'll catch you all in a little while when we're a bit further along we're just leaving Graves End, we've just been to get some supplies. There we are, we're on the M25 now. We um, sat in the traffic, it was about half an hour, and diverted everyone off onto the M25 south on the A2. So, we're on our way anyway, we're moving. So, the sun's shining, it's nice and warm. So, I'll catch you all in a little while. We're on the M3, about 20 miles past the south, uh, this side of Southampton now, so we are getting there. The weather's glorious. It's the M27 there. Won't be long before we take a stop and have something to eat. See, we're in Dorset. We're, uh, Headed to Dorset first, and then we're going to go Portland tomorrow, and then we're going to go Key Haven on Sunday on the way back, and then back home for Sunday. But, uh, weather's glorious, and uh, it's lovely and warm. So, this is the A35 up towards Dorchester, and then we cut across the top. Near Blanford and uh, down into Charmouth. We're going to stay on the camp tonight for one night and uh, so we'll go to the pub and have a drink. And then we're going to have fish and chips. Not in that order, maybe, but have fish and chips first. And then we'll move on again tomorrow. So I shall film a bit later and catch you soon. Well, here is the rolling hills of Dorset all around us. That's glorious. And we're on our way to camp now. Here we are. Beautiful sunshine. There's Jenny behind me. And if anyone knows, there's a familiar tree. Let me spin the camera around. You're at Manor Farm. There's a famous Manor Farm oak tree. Not many people here. There's a few in their caravans. These caravans stay here all year. They've got permanent pitches. I think they pay 2500 and they, you can keep it here for the year. Come down as many times as you like from March to uh, October. There's a little tent over there. Yeah. Come down to book for one night and done a deal on two nights so we're staying down for a bit longer on the site I'm just going to walk up the high street and get the fish and chips in a minute say hello everyone hello. yeah there's everyone <laughs> we have cod and chips bread roll courtesy of Liddles and Stephanie has got fish, cod, mushy peas, bread roll and chips well, that's dinner demolished. That was a lovely bit of fish. Charmouth fish bar. Two medium cod. We had one chips. And some mushy peas. It was £21.30. So it seems a lot of money, but it was very nice. Um, obviously, prices are going up everywhere, aren't they? Food and everything. Businesses have to keep open. So... Yeah, it was very nice. Anyway, we had, we don't have it that often. It's a treat. You know, when we're away, we I save up all my pennies so we can come away. And then we come away and we have a treat. Like tonight, we're going to go to the pub and have a treat. So, 
It'd be nice. Yeah, certainly a beautiful evening. It's just uh, cooling down a bit now, so it's not as as warm as it was, which is nice. Very peaceful, very quiet. People up there watering. They've got little gardens where their uh, caravans are, and they've got all little plants in pots. Nice idea. Nice idea. But we prefer the, the van because you can obviously go other places as well. With uh, like tomorrow, we're we'll going to have a drive to Portland. We've got our toilet with us. We've got our cooking facilities with us. So we can cook out. We don't have to eat out all the time. And also, um, the next day we're going to go to Key Haven, which is down on the south coast near um, the New Forest, bottom of the New Forest. We were going to go there first and stay overnight, but um, we went past with the traffic. We went past where we were meant to turn off because there was another accident. And we didn't want to have to drive back and then drive back this way because we were going to come here anyway for a day. So we'll spend the day here tomorrow till tomorrow afternoon and then we'll go to uh, Portland and uh, see if Portland Pete's about me, mate. I haven't seen him for nearly a year, so I'm going to go and see how he's doing and uh, have a bit of an explore down there. And then we'll be off to Key Haven, which is somewhere where we've never been. We've been to Milford on Sea, but we've never been to Key Haven. So I'm going to go down there Sunday. <clears throat> we'll leave here Sunday morning, drive down to Key Haven, spend the day down there, then drive back Sunday evening, about six ish. The traffic will be uh, calmed by then. But yeah, this is a, it is a beautiful sight, this. Got all the rolling hills all the way round. Shame the club's not open still. But I've got a bar and a clubhouse there, but it closed down about a year or two ago. And the people that were running it um, had a disagreement with the owners, I believe, and uh, they left, which is a shame. They've been there for 20 years. And they run it really well. They used to have entertainment and all sorts in there. But in that little window there, that used to be a kiosk. Fish and chips and kebabs and ice creams and all sorts. Very nice. Yeah, anyway, we must go to West Bay tomorrow to get an ice cream as well. So they're the best ice creams down there. I think it's three pounds, you get a massive one. So anyway, I'm going to jump in Jenny now, even though we've got facilities here. I'm going to use my own shower because I, I like my own shower. I'm going to jump in Jenny, put the tea stuff away and have a shower. And we're off to the pub. How was the fish and chips? Out of ten. Ten. Ten out of ten for fish and chips, Chalmers Fish Bowl. How about that? Perfect, right. See you at the pub. A few channel shout outs while I'm here. That's my one. Donnie's Weekend Van Life Travels UK. Also on Instagram and Facebook. A little one there that of GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. That's Gary in Newfoundland. It's got a camper van here, Sue. That's a great channel. Small vehicle campers, that's a, a Facebook site. There's me again. And this one here is Posh Cats Camping. Trev and Sue, brilliant they are, absolutely brilliant. They travel all over the place in their Van Smurf. Go and give them a uh, look. And if I come around this side, you also got, I haven't got a sticker for her, but you've got Planet Imo as well, which is brilliant. Go and check her channel out, Planet Imo. And there's Gary's one, GBL, the old church, five acre homestead's a bigger one. He's also on Jenny there. And you've got Freebird, which is Maria, her channel. That's brilliant as well. And another camper van channel, which is Coral. She's up by Red Car in Cleveland. Go and check them channels out. They're brilliant. We found our ginger cat to stroke. <laughs> We're coming to the sea. Mustang over there. Absolutely stinks of petrol. It's running really rich. I still smell it for me. I'll just hear it chugging away. I've turned it off now. 
sun's gone in now, but it's it's a beautiful evening. It's chilled down just nice. I thought we'd have a walk down the sea first, and then we go to the pub on the way back. I found out what was wrong with the Mustang. It's leaking petrol everywhere. It's all up the road. It absolutely stinks. The bloke's pulled up and having a look to see if we can fix it. We are here at the water's edge. Very, very clear. Greeny blue water this evening. This is Charmouth Beach. Over there is Lime Beaches. Behind me is the Heritage Centre. Absolutely beautiful. In the beach huts. This tells you all about the Heritage Centre and the fossils that they found. Oh, we're in the George pub in Charmouth. I see him by the window. How are you doing? You're 